Hi Capricorn, this is Marishi and Mashaaf Shaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me. Capricorn's out there, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me? Just one more time. All right, just one more time. Capricorns, what is it that you need to hear from me? Your first card is the moon. There is so much uncertainty, things which is going behind the scenes and you're not aware of it. Okay, you, you are unsure about what is going on around you. There is a need for you to reflect or, or with that hermit energy, you both are darkness. But this person is holding on to a lamp. So to seek for answers, you need to light the lamp and look for the answers. You need to seek for it. You need to understand what is going on. Understand the situation. Okay? You will get your answers only then. There is a need for you to reflect within yourself to understand what is it that you want. Because I feel like you are also unsure about what is it that you want. Okay? Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or probably a Virgo. All right. Capricorns out there. What is your next card, please? Page of Wands. Seems like there is some kind of a potential uh, um, new beginning. I wasn't going to say new beginning, but then it came through. Uh, yeah, could be a new beginning. But whatever it is, there is a potential for success. Because with that Six of Wands, you are going to be on the path of success so whatever is coming through some of you might hear some kind of a message which will put you in the winning position and i feel like there might be so much conflict around you there might be so much competition around you that everybody wants the same thing as you but it will be coming towards you That's why uh, right now you have no idea how things are going to uh, go about, but it seems like uh, you will hear about it. And when I spoke about new beginnings, I think it might be some kind of a new beginning which is going to be offered to you. Yeah. Even though it there is competition, people will cheer you on when it is yours like then it is finally yours but i want to say there are so many others who's also wanting the same thing as you okay so there is loads of competition there is so much conflicts around this whole situation but it seems like somebody is trying to figure out who it should be going to it could be some kind of a job opportunity it could be some kind of a promotion whatever it is it seems like somebody is assessing Who's the right person for this uh, position? Okay? Because somebody is going to be chosen. And there is a need for you to be very protective about what is yours and be very grounded about what is it that you want. If you also want the same thing as others, you need to literally um, stand up for it. You know? It's, it's not about putting up a fight. It's like being in the competition, being present so that people know, yes, this person deserves it. So yes, this person is better than the other. So we're going for it. If you lay low, then yeah, uh, you're not even relevant in the competition. Does it even make sense? I don't know who for, uh, for who this is. Okay. So you need to be very driven about it just so that you will be in the spotlight as well. So they know whoever is in the selection committee, they know, all right, 
this one fits the bill, so we are going to go with this person. All right, moving on. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo energy. Capricorns out there, what is your next card, please? This one. So much, you know, anxiety in regards to it. Okay, again, it's a card full of darkness. Some of you are losing their sleep. Some of you are not sleeping right. Anxious about the situation, just thinking about it, you know, messes up with your head. You're worried. What if I don't get this? What if they don't reach out to me? What if I miss the chance? So that makes you very anxious. If, if, if yeah, it doesn't make you anxious, this is not your story. Okay, not knowing um, the answer, okay, the final verdict makes you so worried. All right, moving on. Yes, eight of ones. Not knowing, you know, how things are going to proceed. Because I showed you with that, uh, with that moon card. There is so much uncertainty within the situation. You don't know how things will go. It can go either ways. Whether it will be in your favor or not worries you. Because you're almost dependent on it coming your way. And if it doesn't, it it's overwhelming. Okay, do not have it. Because you really want it. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. There is some kind of a communication you're waiting for, for them to reach out to you and say it is you. Okay, with that eight of wands, you want them to communicate. You want things to go your way. You want them to reach out. All right, moving on. I'm very anxious, very overwhelmed. You know, it's, it's literally like somebody who's watching their back. And you're very adamant about now, I want this, I want this, I want this. Yes, King of Wands. Very determined, very fiery energy. Somebody who, who, who knows their shit, like, I want this. But then there is, an other, there is another side of you which is pretty much like, good Lord, will it happen? You know, there is this overwhelming feeling. Okay, so there is this fiery energy, but then uh, when you don't know the answers, when you're very um, uncertain about a situation, um, you know, there is this emotional involvement. That is causing all this anxiety. Some of you might be dealing with a Libran or a Scorpion or a Cancerian or a Leo. All right, moving on. Capricorns, Andre, what is your next card, please? Nine of Pentacles. It seems like, again, two nines. It's like you're on the fence about the situation. You know, you're by yourself. You just don't know. You always have to constantly watch your back. Like, what next? Okay, you're very tired. You're very exhausted. But you want this. Because I feel like if it happens, it will uh, take you to the next level. Like your financial stability will be much better than how it is right now. Yeah, that's why um, when I speak about being overwhelmed, yeah, but both my ears are hurting. So I always say, this is on your mind constantly. Hmm. You're stressing me out. All right, Sagittarius. Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarian. Capricorns out there. What is your next card, please? Sorry about that. Capricorns, what is your next card, please? <sighs> like I said, there is so much conflicts within the organization, um, within the foundation. It could be a workplace. It could be a hospital. You know, with that hearth and it could be a hospital, it could be a school, uh, a courthouse, whatever. You know, it's a big organization of some sort. There is so much conflicts, you know. People might not be on the same page. They have different views. Okay. 
regards to their decision. All right. Very conflicted energies. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo. One last card for the Capricorns out there. One last card for the Capricorns out there. This one. With that death card, in your case, I feel like the transition is going to come about. You don't have to worry any anymore, okay? Whatever you felt like, you know, uh, it was behind the scenes, you have no idea what is going on. That whole phase will be over. I don't know how soon, but that phase will be over for you. You don't have to worry anymore. You don't have to worry about whom they're going to pick. Because there is some kind of a new beginning which is coming your way. Did I speak about the new beginning initially? When I picked out the page of wands. Because the transition is happening. You have to leave behind whatever, uh, you know, um, whatever was not working out or whatever. You know, all this behind and you will transition into the next phase. You're stepping into a brand new beginning. It's a card number zero. So it's, it's like a new cycle is beginning for you. Okay, Capricorn? So don't stress too much. Just take a nap. Okay? Because I feel like some of you might not be sleeping well. And it's not good for your health. And I'm not a doctor. So uh, that's it for now. This is Marishi Yumashan Shuloka. Until next time, bye.